When you see Maple and Filbert, the Oregon Zoo beavers, they're super busy, focused on the task at hand, and that's just like wild beavers. That determination is what makes them such an important piece of our landscape and of our ecology. Beavers build dams in order to hold the water back and create those still ponds so that they can build their lodge with the entrance in that pond so that it's protected from predators. Besides humans, beavers do the most of any other animal really to impact the landscape. Their presence on the landscape slows water down, traps the sediment, helps create really fertile soil. It's incredible how much beavers do for us and for the habitat that we live in, from helping to create climate resilient landscapes, to protecting us from wildfires, to creating these really fertile soils that we can grow our food in. They're really related to all things Oregon in so many ways. But given that this is the beaver state, we do know surprisingly little about where the beavers are in this state and what they're doing. When we think about beavers, we don't think about them as saltwater creatures. We've always thought that too much salt water would kill a beaver, um, that they were really freshwater creatures. But then we started to see evidence up in Washington of them living on the coast and actually building their dams in tidally influenced areas. And so that kind of led us to question what's happening here in Oregon. To get a better understanding of where beavers were living on the central coast, we, the Wetlands Conservancy, headed out there to explore, put our boots in the wetlands and look to see what we could find. I mean, we didn't know what to expect, you know, we really didn't. It's difficult in that environment. You're wading through that mucky estuary soil. Because there's more wild space in these areas that we were surveying, we had to cover more ground to really feel like we were getting an accurate picture of who was using those estuaries. We're looking for beaver chews, looking for any sort of beaver dams or lodges. Knowing where they are helps us to create policies around them to understand what they may need. Beavers were almost wiped out entirely due to the fur trade in the late 1800s. Slowly but surely, they're starting to make a resurgence. We did find beaver sign on the Oregon coast. So they are using the estuaries. Are they there year round? Are they going and feeding in the estuaries and returning to another dam? We're not sure. It's kind of a new frontier of, of where we think they may be. A lot of the tidal wetlands on the coast have been dewatered. For them to function as an ecosystem, they need to have water in them. The beavers are helping to bring the water back. If you learn something cool about beavers, let your friends know. Pay attention to wildlife-friendly legislation. Engage with organizations that are doing pro-beaver work or pro-wildlife work. Get out and do a beaver survey with your local land trust or organization. I think that the conversation is turning. There's some real beaver believers in this state that are real proponents of creating a space where we can coexist. <laughs>